We're going to show you how you can quickly and easily fit the Blanco Select waste system. Blanco Select is well thought out, down to the tiniest detail. In 10-15 minutes, you will fit in succession a frame to the front of the unit, pull-outs in the base unit, and the very useful organizer drawer. To install the system, you will need a pencil and a ruler, a cordless screwdriver of 20 torques for the screws on the back panel, an Allen key, and a slotted screwdriver. First of all, mark the middle point on the door of the base unit. On Blanco Select, the door of the bottom unit will fit flush against the bottom of the unit with a 16 or 19 mm base panel. If the door of the base unit hangs down at the bottom by dimension X, then this will have to be transferred to the door of the base unit together with the thickness of the base panel. The side panel of the SELECT system acts as a drilling template when fitting the frame to the unit door. Insert the two fitting aids, 1619 from below in the Blanco SELECT side panel so that you can read the thickness of the unit base. In this case, it's 19 mm. Put the Blanco SELECT side panel with the fitting aids on the door of the base unit and align it centrally. The bottom edge of the door fits against the shoulders of the fitting aids. The side panel is the drilling template for units of 45 cm width. On 50 and 60 cm units, the side panel leveler is clicked into the side panel as the drilling template. Now draw the drilling holes and remove the template. Depending on the consistency of the base unit door, it might be advisable to pre-drill. Now position the assembly plates so that the blue eccentric screws face inwards. Position the slots on the middle of the drilling positions and secure each one with three back panel screws. Please ensure that the gap to the outer edge of the base unit door is parallel and identical on the left and right sides. If the SELECT system is subsequently found not to be central, then the position of the assembly panels can be corrected by adjusting the six screws. Now put the frame on the blue eccentric screws in the assembly panels and secure with two sets of two flange screws. Note. Do not distort the eccentric screws when you position them, as otherwise you will have to readjust the height later. The frame has now been fitted to the door. Let's move on to the base unit. Everything you do on the base unit has to be done on the left and right. Position the two select side panels on the sides of the base unit. Stand them on the base, flush with the front edge of the base unit. Once you've aligned them, secure them with four back panel screws through the outer slits. With a wall thickness of 16mm, the side panel leveler is inserted in the side panel. If the wall thickness is 19mm, there is no need to use it. Put the extension track on the surface of the side panel and push it back the track will lock in the steps. Secure the extension track with four countersunk screws. You can choose the positions for the screw holes. Now position the frame in the back one-third of the extended tracks and close the door. A distinct click will indicate that the frame is locked in place. If the frame is not locked properly, check to make sure that it is slotted into the hooks on both tracks. Now that you've fitted the frame, 
we will show you how to adjust the door correctly. First, set the tilt. Undo the socket screw on the side of the frame. Turn the blue eccentric screw to the left or right by up to 90 degrees. This changes the gap at the back between the frame and track, which in turn changes the tilt of the base unit door. Tighten the socket screw again when you've made the adjustment. And now adjust the height. Use the eccentric screws at the front to adjust the door height. Undo the socket screws and use the blue eccentric screws to adjust the height by up to approximately plus or minus 5 mm. Tighten the socket screws again when you've made this fine adjustment of the height. Now you can insert the system caps in the slits of the side panels and arrange the bins as you wish. A practical organizer drawer is optionally available to go with Blanco Select. It only takes a few moments to install. Only use the spacers if the wall thickness of the unit is 16 mm. They do not have to be used if the thickness is 19 mm. First, position the installation aid from above into the select side panel, flush with the front edge of the base unit. Then position the extension track on the mark and secure it with enclosed screws. Insert the organizer drawer with the tracks retracted. Place on the back and then push down at the front. Then put the horizontal box and the practical universal boxes in place just as you desire.